Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on vectors in R. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to select elements from a vector or to say how indexing in a vector works. Selecting elements or indexing is a method of assessing desired elements of a vector using the respective indices of the vectors. And we use a square bracket uh, to select the elements of a vector. Let's create a vector x. Uh, in vector, the indices starts from uh, 1 uh, and not from the 0, as is the, uh, as that, that is the case for some of the other programming languages. So if you want to get 7, uh, you have to first of all see what is the index of 7 and then use um, that index inside the square bracket to assess that element. So uh, index of 7 is 4, so we can use that 4 to assess 7. Okay, similarly, uh, the index 6 is 2 here. Uh, we can also get um, more than one element uh, from a vector using the concatenate uh, function with, uh, with uh, the different indices uh, of the elements that we want to select. So in this case, I want to select um, elements with indices 2, 5, and 7, so which are 9, 20 and 13 so let's see that okay um, also we can use a column operator uh, to select uh, elements from a vector so um, uh, this will select all the elements uh, from the indices 1 to 4 uh, so let's execute that okay and um, we can combine that column operator with uh, any other index using a concatenate function and uh, select the elements uh, which are from the index 1 to 4 and also the index 7 so let's let's select those elements okay so 5 9 9 15 and 7 um, are the indices from 1 to 4 and the seventh in index is uh, of the element 13 and to assess the last element of uh, any vector, we can use the length function. Okay, so 13 is the last element of vector x. We can also use uh, negative index, uh, but, for, uh, but, but, but for to remove the elements from the vector. So if you want to remove the second element, use uh, minus 2. So there is no second element here now, it's, it's been removed. Uh, and to remove uh, more than one element, we can use um, uh, those indices uh, using a concatenate function inside uh, uh, inside the square bracket. So let's remove um, first element and fourth element. Okay, so you can see uh, the first element five and the fourth element seven uh, are removed from vector x. Uh, as, as we have done for uh, assessing um, elements using the oper column operator, we can also use the same column operator to remove elements from the vector. So here we are removing all the elements which have indexed from 2 to 6. Okay, so those elements were removed. And we can remove the last element using the length function. Uh, okay, uh, but we have to remember one thing, we cannot combine uh, the positive and negative indices uh, together. Uh, so let's see what would happen. So in that case, uh, you will get an error message. We can also use a uh, logical vector, but if we use um, uh, the comparison operators uh, for the vectors, uh, we will not get the elements, desired elements from the vector, rather we will get um, a vector of logical values. Uh, let's see that. Okay, so you can see we, we got a vector uh, which have logical values and, and the logical value is true if any, uh, any element is less than 8 and it would be false uh, if it is uh, greater than 8. Uh, the same applies for this, uh, this code also. 
you know, where uh, the logical values are true if the elements is greater than 12, otherwise it is false. And same here also. So it is true here uh, for element uh, which is equal to 2, but for all other elements uh, it is false. But we can use those logical operators to get or to select the elements from the vector. So if we select uh, uh, this x greater than 12 uh, option inside a square bracket, then we will get all the elements which are greater than 12. Okay, so these are the elements which are greater than 12 in vector x. And, uh, and this will give us all the elements which are less than uh, the mean value of the vector x. Uh, we can also use the name of the vectors to assess the vector elements. Uh, let's see a vector pop, which is the population of five different states uh, of uh, United States. And uh, let's assign the names uh, to this vector pop. Okay, and let's execute that code to see our population vector. Okay, uh, now we can use the name of the vector to select their corresponding um, elements from the population vector. So uh, let's use CA uh, to extract, uh, to, to select the uh, corresponding elements uh, from the population vector. Okay, so CA corresponds to 35.3. So uh, we got that 35.3 here. Similarly, for NY, it is 19.7. So for NY, 19.7, which is uh, uh, which is actually the fourth element here. And also we can access uh, more than one element. In this case, two elements uh, combining two naps uh, for uh, vector pop. Okay, let's execute that and we got um, the corresponding elements uh, of vector x which are 19.6 for Florida and uh, 26.4 for Texas. So that's all about um, selecting or indexing vector. Thank you very much for watching uh, this tutorial. Um, I hope to see you guys in next video.